Yo, what's going on guys? Bobby here and today we are back with another Power League video. So just to show you guys where we're at right now, we're currently kind of in the middle of L2, a couple games off of, you know, untilting and we're not really halfway. I'd say we're about 40-45%. Uh, so we're going to play two games. Unless they're short, then we'll probably rip a third. InstaQ, okay, that's pretty good. So uh, let's get this started. We're going to, I know you guys want to see the draft, but we're going to move forward a couple picks and I'll kind of break it all down to you and give it in real time. Once we're like halfway there, so let's skip forward to that and let's get this going. All right, so here we are. Um, we have the last pick. So whoever the middle guy is did a really good job on the other team by banning Grom. Um, because on Dueling Beetles, what's really good last pick is throwers. They can take things that are really squishy and then you go thrower last pick and you can kind of just dominate whatever. Um, and then I guess Poco's a pretty good ban. Meg as well. We also ban Meg. I ban Stu just because Stu is a really well-rounded brawler on this map. You don't want them to get it. They first pick Penny. Um, which I would say last meta is a pretty good first pick. I don't know if it's really that good anymore. Um, and then we followed it up with B. B is really good. It's not the greatest into Penny, but it's really good on Hot Zone where it's all about area denial and just stuff like that. They went Carl, um, and then they went what they just went. So we're gonna need something to take out Brawlers. Uh, this guy's suggesting Griff. Griff isn't a bad idea. I guess we'll go for the sake of the video. So the reason we went Griff is because something that's really important on this map is you guys can see how there's really three lanes to move up into the middle. There's the left, the middle, and the right. It's kind of hot. You can't really juke there. Um, I'm going to keep the Griff because the Griff's the most important. I kind of suck at Griff, but I don't want this guy to mess up. Um, but it's really important to kind of, if you can get a wall break to just break aside so you have a lot more space to juke. So I'll show you an example of it right now. You just go right over here, pop the gadget. And now instead of shooting in that two tiles or being in that two tiles, um, you have a lot more room to juke. Now, since they have a Sam, I'm just going to break everything. Our Carl should be fine down there. All right, there we go. We got the kill. My wire's bugging out, so if you guys see random skips, it's because my wire does not want to work. Um, but as the game goes on, it's going to get a lot easier for us, just because we're breaking things open. And Sam is good, don't get me wrong, Sam is one of the best brawlers in the game right now. Uh, but once it runs out of gadgets, it's a lot more difficult to play, so we're just going to chill in the middle, continue working, and as the Sam runs out of gadgets, it's going to be a lot easier. Now, something that has happened, though, is the, uh, Penny is yet to get a super. So that's kind of unfortunate for the other team. It's pretty important that you get a super, uh, in a game. The Penny finally got it, but we have a pretty good lead, so hopefully we'll be fine. Uh, we're gonna go down there, but, I mean, it's looking pretty good for us, to be honest. The start of the game is the hardest for us, and then once we get it open, it just gets a lot easier. Um gonna go down the middle here and again by this point I think the game's kind of already won for us unless we just really mess up but we're looking pretty good here that is going to be game number one so again the griff is really good yesterday in a scrim we actually had griff banned and we were kind of in the same same situation but with pick number five we needed something that counters tanks but we also needed something that breaks walls in case they go six pick thrower so we actually went Colt, and uh, Colt's kind of like the Mickey Mouse version of Griff, I guess. Does the same thing in terms of breaking your own walls and does DPS. Griff's obviously a ton better, but uh, it wasn't that bad of a pick, actually. We ended up winning with it. Uh, so this Sam lost its glove, so it's going to be completely useless. Honestly, keeping it alive isn't even the worst idea in the world. I'm going to break this and see what happens. It gives them more room to juke, but at the same time, they have a Sam, so... It kind of just opens up the map for us against the tank. This Max does not have very much help at the moment. Um, Carl's going to go in. Good play. And as long as the Carl just stays off the Sam, it should be a pretty easy win for us, to be honest. I'm just going to go aggro and take him out. Didn't really need to do that, but whatever. Um, but yeah, I think these guys are going to give up at this point. Um... They didn't really have the best draft. Picking Max and Tank into B is pretty optimistic, to be honest. Um, and especially when you have the other team with last pick. So we had last pick. You don't want to get countered before someone last picks. Because then you're just going to kind of get ultra countered. 
because it's not draft. They can take whatever brawler they want that fits well into your comp. So GG's to these guys. Uh, then my teammates are really good. Other team, you know, maybe not so much. Oh my god, poor Kodash didn't have any help, man. But uh, but yeah, it's gonna be game number one. So let's hop on to game number two and let's keep it going. All right, so next game we have Crystal Arcade. So it's kind of the same thing. They have last picks. We don't want to really want to get screwed over by anything last. Um, so I'm just gonna ban something like Squeak. Carl and Ash are actually also really good bans because it's kind of the same thing. If you have a squishy comp, Squeak last pick is gonna be really good. And then Ash and Carl last pick, if you don't really have the tank counters, they're just gonna run you over. Their bans are actually really good as well. You just wanna ban really good well-rounded brawlers. So Penny, Janet are two really good examples of that. And then Gray is also really good um, at the moment. So that's a really good ban by them as well. We're gonna skip a little bit ahead, uh, I guess onto my pick. So let's catch up over there. All right, so they, oh, well, we first picked Bo. Uh, kind of an interesting first pick, but I mean, I guess not the worst. They followed that up with Jean and Nita. Nita's a pretty interesting pick, but it's pretty good here. So I'm deciding between Spike and Sam right now. For the sake of kind of showing you guys a little bit more in depth how you can draft, we're gonna go with Sam. And the reason I want a Sam is because this, whatever this guy's name is, is flashing Otis. So Otis is probably the number one hard counter to Sam. So kind of just getting that Otis out of the way since we are gonna have it on our team is really good. The worst thing they can go is like, I don't know, a Spike maybe. But if, they're, if I'm facing Spike, Nita, Jean as a Sam, eventually I'm going to get something done. And we're definitely going to win the game somehow. Unless my teammates are just not the greatest. So they went Surge. So Surge, again, kind of like Spike. You know, it's going to kill the Sam a bunch of times. But the Sam is also going to kill the Surge a bunch of times. Hopefully, you know, it's my server and I don't eat those words and get ping diffed on Sam. But yeah, I mean, it's not the easiest lanes, not the hardest at the same time. And Gene with the gems against the Sam is always a really bad thing because it doesn't do high DPS, so it's just not really that good. Yeah, this is definitely not my server, but I guess we'll figure it out. One kill, got him low. All right, there we go. So like, that's a pretty crazy start to be able to get two people low and get a kill and just spawn back you have your super and just run in a straight line. I mean, this brawler is kind of wild, to be honest. Um, Surge is going to kill us. Again, that's going to happen. We're just going to keep running in a straight line. We're Sam. Just never stop the aggression. Just keep going. And then use your three gadgets for kills, obviously, is really important. But yeah, just constant aggression is all you want. Honestly, the delay is making this kind of tough but I'm just gonna keep running in a straight line and eventually it's gonna work. That's a pretty good example of it right there. I think our bow might die. Yeah, the bow is gonna die, but not a big deal, I guess. We're just gonna, ooh, no we are not. We're gonna lose this game. All right, you know what, bow? It is a big deal that you died now. Oh, that was not the smartest play by him. Oh my god. All right, you know what? Kind of a goofy bow. Again, we're on 100 ping. It's a little bit hard on the EU servers, but I think we can get this win. We were doing pretty well all game until, well, our team was doing pretty well all game until, you know, we died with all the gems. But this game's all us. I'm going to try going this side. Maybe we can keep this hard, this surge hard stuff one, and I'll just feed a couple bears and we'll see what happens. I'm kind of just chilling right now. Oh, no pull hit. Well, the surge is pretty low. I mean, by low, I mean hard stuck at the moment. I do think we might have fed a bear, though. We did feed a bear. But I guess that doesn't really matter for getting kills. So, pretty good job. I think this sur okay, the surge is level 2. So, I think we can just kind of W key it. And not really care about feeding. No! No, don't open my side, please! Alright, well. Who needs walls, anyways? Honestly, though, I don't understand how the bow died there. I don't know about this bow guy. I'm gonna try and bait him to jump. He's not gonna do it. What a smart surge. Alright, this game is over. This game is over. 
I don't like this bow very much. Oh, never mind. Fudge? No, he didn't. I don't like him. Alright, well, we're gonna keep running. Keep doing our thing, I guess. Alright, that's game over. Oh, man. Well, to be honest, we had a pretty good draft. Uh, I think if it was on our, our server and we didn't have to rely on this bow, it would be a pretty easy win, but unfortunately we did. Uh, GG's to the other team. Um, I'm reporting this bow. I, I think he threw on purpose, honestly. I'm pretty convinced he threw on purpose. I want to see how he died quickly. I'm not... I'm not even that upset. I just want to see how he died. Like, what happened? It was going so well. Why does he always have to die with the gems? Okay. It's going good. See, he... Ah, it's pretty bad. So he broke my lane and gave him six gems. Oh, well, you know what? He did his best. You know, I'm sure he's a great player. And, you know, he was just lagging or something. So let's go on to our third game. We'll do a third one because why not? Let's get into it. And uh, hopefully we get a fresh map, fresh draft to show you guys. Let's see what uh, let's see what we get. All right. So going to the next game, we got Sneaky Fields. Again, first pick. Um, so this one, I'm more scared about getting tanked into last than I would be a thrower given it's a grassy brawl ball map. Um, so I'm just gonna ban something like... Uh, I'll just ban Ash, because why not? Even though I would like to go Ash. Um, so being the first pick, it's pretty interesting. We, we kind of want to just play it safe. I could go Otis or Janet. I'm gonna hover Otis for now and just look at the other brawlers. We could go Gray as well. Gray might be a decent pick. I think we're gonna go Gray. All right, screw it. We're gonna go gray. I haven't gone gray for a while, so I kind of want to get a gray game in. I think the better pick may have been Otis or Janet, just because of the same stuff um, as the other maps, where you want to first pick really safe brawlers that are just good into everything. So on a grassy map, especially if you're first pick, you want to take something that's good into tanks, but pretty well-rounded. So Otis probably would have been that pick, um, but gray is way more fun. So I'm going to play gray, but yeah, so they're going to go with Otis pretty good and then poco again pretty good so they have a lot of hp already so they're definitely this is like a very perfect draft i want to say by them so far this is how we would respond in competitive we would now have to go something that's really good into tanks i'm not going to suggest anything just let my teammates kind of do whatever uh but an m's or a spike i think would be really good probably not a daryl but you know what not a bad show i guess we'll go with the daryl does this guy have max M's? I kind of feel like... All right, you know what? He has a max M's. He's not going to mind that suggestion. He definitely likes M's. Um, and the reason I would take M's is because we want an anti-tank. M's is good into Poco. It's not too bad into Otis. So, I mean, Otis is definitely going to have a really fun game. But our comp is pretty good. It's not a bad comp at all. They're going to go with Stu. It's not what I would do. So, we kind of saved our draft with the M's and the Daryl. It actually wasn't too bad of a... Uh of a draft to be honest i'm gonna break this open and just try and hit some shots because right now i don't know i just gotta poke and get my super i'm not really gonna kill anyone probably all right good shots though all right well we got our super pretty fast so we should be fine i'm gonna tp with the daryl um uh, i think we're fine Oh, he doesn't know how the knockback works, though. Maybe we're not fine. All right, he didn't know how the knockback works. We're not fine. But, I mean, I got my TP back, so, I mean, I guess we can make a play or something. I'm just going to break this. All right, I don't know about this gameplay at the moment that I'm watching. All right, you know what? You know what? Sometimes... The comp doesn't matter because the players are just... You know what? We can do it. We can do it. We can do it. I believe. I believe in us. I'm putting this right down the middle. Oh, my tabs. Look at that. It's a great start. One shot off super. We got the lane switch. Look at them. They know how to switch lanes. He's going to go down, but we're fine, I think. Please. No knockback. All right. You know, a knockback would have been pretty useful there by the M's. But again, you know, sometimes uh, they just want to do what they want to do. Uh, good play there by the Daryl, though. We're going to slide it over to the M's. Maybe a mistake. Maybe not. I oh, can't score this. Oh, I almost baited the M's. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean it. 
Okay, we're getting some good shots off. Go, 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 go. All right, so that was a pretty good play there. They are going to corner the ball. I'm just going to break this. I'm not dealing with that corner. Uh, so I got the TP again. Oh, really good play there by the Daryl, actually. Stay still. Auto aim. Oh, my God. Close. Close. Don't TP. Well, we got another one, so hopefully we can make a play here. We should probably... Oh, the Daryl's just going to go in. I mean, I guess good play by the Daryl. I'm not too sure what happened, but it didn't die, so it probably did something. Daryl's going to go up again. Why do I bail me out? Alright, Otto Wayne bailed me out there. Come on, Daryl. This is all you. Alright, well, I don't really know exactly what happened there, but we got a goal, so all good. Uh, I'm, what, three shots from Super? God damn. That's honestly with this brawler. Come on. Come on. Alright, there's one. I think the Daryl wants the ball. I can't tell. It was, like, kind of doing some weird, like, spinning movement thing. That didn't work, but I could try. Oh! Okay, there we go. There we go. Gotta let you know if... I messed that up. They're probably going to lose. But that was pretty saucy. That was a pretty nice goal over there. So, we need one more game here to end out the video on a dub. And not tilt. So, let's hopefully get this win. Come on, feed me super. Let's just break this, whatever. That was an interesting gadget by the Otis. Uh-oh. Alright, well, that's gonna be a goal for them. We've, you know, we've won down one nothing before. You know, I'm not too stressed. We win these. Alright, that was a pretty interesting play there, to be honest. But, good effort, at least. A plus for the effort. I don't know if we can stop this. No, we cannot. Well... There we go, I guess. There we go. So, I mean, we did our best. We drafted as well as we could. But sometimes, you know, the RNG, the player luck isn't on your side. So, we're actually going to tilt this video. Close match, I guess, you know, whatever. Uh, but, yeah, those three drafts, not too bad. If you can follow something along those three lines, I think worst case, this game could have been 50-50. But I'm, I, I believe if we, did, you know, maybe had a better bow or if we weren't on 100 ping, we could win that. And then the other two, I think, are pretty good. Just, you know, kind of unfortunate that we lost one of them. But yeah, it's going to be the video. If you guys enjoyed with more drafting, I can do it like this. It's not too bad uh, if you guys don't mind the downtime. But that's going to be it. If you guys enjoyed, like, comment, subscribe, all that. It means the world. And I'll be back again later. Peace. Hey, you. Yes, you there watching this on your phone. Have you ever wanted to be the best? The most handsome? The most loved player on your team? and support your favorite creator at the same time. Well I have good news. You can be all of that and more, by using code Bobby. But you have to do it now because this is a limited time offer. Use code Bobby at any Supercell Games store.